Hello guys, do you talk about Echo? The show that came out a month ago. Absolutely zero people went to go watch Echo. Okay, and this is for all five episodes released at one time. Okay, that's even the more embarrassing numbers for Echo. So this Echo show, absolutely no one went to go watch it. Like, absolutely zero people had any interest in the show whatsoever. It seems that Echo is doing worse than Miss Marvel. Okay? It is doing worse than Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel was a record row for Marvel as well. But it seems that 2024 with Madame Web and Echo, Marvel seems to be going to new roles. Okay? New roles, okay, to ever before. Okay? Breaking the record for the worst superhero movie ever made, quote unquote, by reviews. Views. And worst rated superhero TV show. Okay. Echo season 2 is not happening. Okay, no one went to go see it. The first week of Echo. They have numbers. And it wants number 10. Or 731 minutes in the millions. Okay. And it is of course a far all episodes releasing at once. Which means the show is going to drop massively on the second weekend. And drop out of the top 10. Okay. Which actually makes the Neos in top 10 for that week. But however it's all 5 episodes. I was still 146 million minutes for an episode. I have to guess. First couple episodes had the higher than average few numbers. Because, TV, because usually movie so TV shows. If people don't like them. They usually fall off a cliff. Echo is released at both Disney Plus and Hulu. The number of the world for Disney Plus. The DLC report measures both Disney Plus and Hulu numbers as well. The FG shows are always released at Disney Plus. Miss Marvel, Episode 1, 249 million. Secret Invasion, 641 million. Seahawk, 432 million. Actually, uh, Episode 2, free, South 430 million. And episode 2 saw 90 million, but the first episode didn't make the Nielsen ratings. So it ran in Echo's average, but Samba TV didn't report numbers for Echo. Probably because no one watched the Echo. Okay. And if this is true, this would be the worst performing Marvel show in history. In history. The worst performing Marvel show ever. Ever. Okay. This is the worst performing Marvel show ever. Okay. You can not, we can all see why wokeness is dying. Because the people who tout this stuff. Who want this stuff in movies or TV shows. Don't go out of the way to watch this stuff. Okay. The woke crowd is not. It did not go out of the way to see the Marvels. Then I go all the way to see Echo. Heck, we can go all the way back to 2016 or Ghostbusters 2016. They whined and whined and whined that they that a female Ghostbusters movie was necessary for the IP and for the franchise. Guess what? They weren't the ones who went to go see the movie. It was the general audience. The woke audience thinks that they that they are control that that they control pop culture, but they're the ones who are ruining pop culture. By making movies and TV shows that are becoming historic box office flops and box office failures. Okay, let's look at last year of the Marvels, Riss, and a lot of Disney movies. And not just Disney as well. The Flash, Aquaman, The Lost Kingdom. Are other examples of movies that utterly just failed at the box office. You know, is not just Disney. That's struggling, obviously. Okay, the last Fast and the Furious movie flopped, and Mr. Impossible, last Mr. Impossible flopped. But I think those two are mostly due to franchise fatigue. Uh, and really, it shows you that no one cares about woke entertainment anymore. Okay, companies are abandoning the whole idea of wokeness. Okay. Yes, you still have a few he- he- things here and there. Same thing with, you know, 
or set it up in favor of the woke. But it depends who is shifting against wokeness. It is clear to see it with our very eyes. The pendulum is shifting. DEI and all of wokeness is being abandoned at a rapid rate. They are losing because no one is interested in their IPs and stuff they push with wokeness. Okay, there's woke up last year with the whole f- destruction of the brand of Bud Wright. Yes, now Bud Wright is doing everything they can, you know, to save their reputation. But they we enough damage was done to Bud White that they basically lost billions of dollars. Same thing's happening to the Walt Disney Company as well. Okay. They used to be the unstoppable juggernaut at the box office. They used to be the unstoppable, unstoppable juggernaut. The greatest of all. But, nope. Disney is now a cell of its former self. It is now a cell of its former self. The once unstoppable juggernaut of a company is now the biggest joke of a company. Goodbye.